Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's Pete here, man. So, I got my van back today. This thing has a new transmission, has a new engine, has new tires, has new brakes, has new brake lines, has a bunch of new shit. Only thing I forgot to get done in this thing was the front, the front struts, man. All that money I dumped to this motherfucker, I forgot to tell him to do the front struts. And I need my van, man. It's like I can't have no more downtime. So, um, I'm probably going to drop it off again at the mechanic on, on, um, on set next, uh, this Saturday. Time to get the front struts done. Um, listen, man. Property preservation is no joke. And it's always go, 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 go. At a hundred percent. And, 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 um. What the clients don't see and don't get is that we have to be prepared for every fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like when when we lose a vehicle or a vehicle's down, it's down. You know what I mean? Um, and it's a lot of shit in between, man. We got to get equipment. We got to get fucking tools. We got to get supplies. We got to stop here. We got to stop there. There's a lot of stuff in between. You know, so even when not if even when we're not working, we're still working to keep our business running. You know, and, and some of these third parties just don't get that. And this is something I want to tell you guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this is something you're gonna have to worry about, man. You know, this is something you need to focus on. You know, um, we don't have a genie that we could tell us, oh, today's gonna be a profitable profitable day you know you can start your day off you know thinking shit is gonna be good and then all of a sudden you know something happens you know you get a flat on the road do, do, do you have your spare tire or do you have um, something to patch up the flat or all that stuff or do you got your jack you know and all this shit man it's tough man to deal with man and people think this shit is easy man and and you know it's easy you know in a sense where if, if you love doing this work you're gonna find a way how to get it done but you know there's a lot of shit in between that people just don't get they just they they, they, they they don't comprehend you know like they cannot understand the you know the the, the, the how this shit works and, and it's tough man you know it's tough sometimes you know you you know let's say you had twenty thousand saved up for the winter and it dried up because you know you had to pay bills things were a little slow or this and that you know and all of a sudden poof all the money gone you know and then you see it's just a bunch of shit anything that can go wrong is gonna go wrong you know and this is something that the third some third parties just don't understand and don't seem to get you know i'm backing up so you know, but I got my van back. I'm happy. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw um, a trailer on it and drive around it because this is what I bought the van for. Um, you know, for for the summer. You know, so I gotta make sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a trailer on it. And even though it's snowing and shit, but I gotta have a trailer on it with the mowers. And if it does good for me for the uh, for this week for the for the rest of this week. After I get the struts done, it should be good to go, and then I could get some guys to work. Um, you know, I, I spoke to a couple of clients. I told them I'm only focusing on grass cuts this year, and that's that on the preservation end, you know, property preservation end. And uh, one client had a problem with that. Wow, well, we should just give some work to somebody else that's going to be out there doing the, the all the work. No, just give me all the grass cuts, man. I got to make my money up, you know. Let me build my money up, and then we can go from there. But, um, yeah, man, you know, you got to be prepared for all this stuff, man. You know, there's a lot of hard work goes into this. You know, this ain't easy stuff, man. You know, one day you could be doing good and the next day, boom, you know, you can have issues. You know, and it's tough, man, when you're the, uh, when you're the main component for your business. Like me, I am, like, uh, uh, there's a wheel. I saw, I, I saw a video. I forgot who, who made it. But it was a video saying um, how to run an effective business. You know, I'm I'm the center of that wheel. I need to remove myself from that wheel, and I need to just build a, a, a pyramid. Like, okay, I'm the I'm the head, I'm the top of the pyramid, and then I got two ends, you know, the triangle. So I got two leads or two managers, you know, and that and uh, the the people that have problems answer to them, and then they, you know, I don't I shouldn't have to talk to any of the guys regarding work my leads should be able to do that so you know what I mean I'll draw something up and show you exactly what I saw 
But um, for now, I, I'm hoping you guys get the picture. So anyway, so for my leads come to me, you know, so it's a pyramid, you know, a triangle, you know, triangle like that. So on the top, my lead, my lead. And then under them, there's another triangle, you know, two other workers. And then on the other side, two other workers, you know, so, you know, this is something I got to focus on in the building. I got a good feeling about this year, even though in April, um, you know, but I got a real good feeling that I'm going to explode this year. All my equipment is bought and paid for in cash. I don't owe anything on anything except for some of the repairs on this van. Um, but um, other than that, I am set. You know, all my equipment is bought and paid for in cash. Everything I own is paid for. So I don't owe money on anything. Um, and I'm happy about that. You know, I have no credit, so which is a bad thing and a good thing. Bad thing is that um, when I'm low on funds, you know, I can't call the, the supply company and say, listen, I'm low on funds. Can you send me something? You know, oh, okay, can we get your credit card? No, it doesn't work that way. Everything I pay for is in cash. You know, which is a good thing, though, man. Some people just fuck up their whole lives because of credit. You know, uh, me, for uh, my credit's fucked up because somebody stole my, my identity. You know, for some reason, I had a job in Texas. I had a job in Florida. I had a job in, in the West Coast in California at one point. You know, so my identity was stolen. You know, and, and that, you know, it's fucking up my credit. You know, but I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to go nuts and trying to fix that. You know, it is what it is. You know, but, um... Yeah, guys, I got my van back. A lot of money went into her, and um, and I'm hoping she'll last me a long time too. Next uh, thing is uh, the dump trailer. I got the dump trailer. I gotta put a lot of money into that, man. I'm thinking about another. I think about. Um, I want to say honestly, say that I might have to dump at least five thousand into that. So I'm hoping by the end of the summer, she's on the road. You know, and I'm be driving that primarily for big fucking jobs and shit like that. But, you know, I also got the landscaping gig, too. I mean, um, the home improvement gig, too, man, in um, Putnam County. So things are supposed to pick up as well. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy. You know, I, I, uh, uh, one of the pieces to the puzzle is back in, you know, and now I'm, I, I'm, I, I see the whole, you know, I got the whole picture and it's looking good. But anyway, guys, it is what it is, man. You just got to be prepared and just keep pushing ahead, man. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. Um, to my subscribers, as always, thank you. Um, and if anybody has any questions, any comments, please, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me, man. All right. Anyway, I got to get going. I got to pick up my son from my sister's house before she starts calling me. Where are you? Come get your kid. Why are you taking so long? Stop here. Stop there. Give me some milk. Give me this. Give me that. I don't want to get no calls. He's going to pick up my son and leave, you know? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, please leave them. Peace.